This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. This is a presentation from Dream Realm Enterprises, where dreams are our reality. Welcome to the Dr. Phil Botmix Brockett Show. Today's topic is a common problem these days aboard company ships. Robotic anger and how to trade it. Our guest today is a member of the deep space cargo ship, the Titan One. Hello, Miss Shinwad. Welcome to the show. Get off my case. Whoa, that's some pretty potent anger you got there, little missy. What's it to you, Buster? Let me assure you. I'm only here to help you resolve these issues you have with your crewmates. Can you tell me when all this started? Yeah, shortly after the cliffhanger was resolved. Cliffhanger? Can you explain for my studio audience? Studio audience? There ain't nobody here but us and Kimbotticus. And don't forget about me! Already have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shut up. And now, Miss Wap, that is no way to behave. You must recognize that your hostilities may be directed at the people around you. But in truth, they spring from a self-loathing that probably goes back to your childhood. Maybe even as far back as your bot toddler days. And now, Miss Wipe. Stop calling me that before I belt you. It's either Shinwipe or Commander. Got it? Ah, I see. Now, don't you see that what you're really doing is projecting a deep-rooted superiority complex? Now, honestly, what are you thinking? It seems to me that we're getting to the heart of the problem. This clearly is anger that is actually coming from deep within your subconscious positronic network. That is actually directed towards your parents. Now, wouldn't you say that's true? Parents? I don't have parents. I'm a bot. I was put together on the assembly line at Robotex Inc. What are you, an idiot? Now, Miss Watt. Was someone who is the star of his own galactically syndicated show who makes a cool mill a week really be considered an idiot? I mean, look at me. I'm too tall, I'm too thick, and my head covering is thinning. But I'm no dummy. I'm freaking famous. Thanks to my friend Opbot. Get real. <laughs> No, you're really asking for it, bub. If you keep this up, I'll kick your f***ing metal b all the way from Tarsus 3 to f***ing Nebulus 4. Uh, now, 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 Miss Wife, I, I, I didn't mean get real angry. Oh. Well, uh, I can see it's time for rock and 
That's right, Dr. Philbot. We'll be right back after these brief but oh so important messages. In other words, our sponsors have paid big bucks to be heard. So now you're going to get the hard sell rammed right down your throat. So sit back and battle the corporations of the galaxy. And be sure to stay tuned for the conclusion of today's show or else. Today in Robot News with your robotic news anchor, Fizz Gizzit. Hello, I'm Fizz Gizzit. Today in Robot News, we interrupt your regularly scheduled program for a very special announcement. Today, in a surprising move, a press release was, um, released, announcing that the character of Shin White will no longer be appearing in this program. Holy cow! When asked to comment on this amazing turn of events, the production staff of Robots of the Company were quoted as saying, The reasons for this are simply too complex to even begin to go into. Don't even ask, we won't tell. The spokesperson for DRE went on to say, We're sorry for the shocking way the script writer has opted to handle the situation. The simple truth is, he was just too lazy to come up with a fresh new idea to write the character out. And so he has decided to simply cop out. It is my unfortunate job to tell you that you're completely out of luck if you had hoped to see this character get a proper send-off. Wow, who could believe it? We now go to our roving reporter, Frag Meltdown, for tonight's very special commentary. Take it away, Frag! Well, Fizz, it seems that tonight's episode is simply over. Yes, that's right, over. The big question that now remains on my mind is simply this. Why the hell are you people still listening? Don't you have anything better to do than sitting around your computers expecting a logical conclusion to anything on this show? which, I point out, wasn't even a show at all this week. It was just something they sort of threw together. Honestly, Frank, what are you talking about? Look, Buster, I don't have to answer to you. In fact, you are nothing but a big metal tin can with a mouth. And a big one at that. (laughs) So there. How utterly, incredibly informative as usual, Frag. Thank you for the amusement. This has been your robotic news anchor, Fizz Gizzit, with another robot news update. You have been listening to Robots of the Company, episode number 204, The Dr. Philbot Show. 
Written by Jonathan Patrick Russell with additional material written by Joe Thomas, which starred in order of appearance. J. Thomas Jeans as the announcer bot, Jeff Niles as Dr. Philbot McSprocket, K. Wu as Shin Wipe, and Jonathan Patrick Russell as Fizz Gizzit and Frag Meltdown. The title theme was written and composed and performed by Daryl Looney. The incidental music was provided by Firstcom. The associate producer was K. Wu. The post production editor, script editor, executive producer, and the director was Jonathan Patrick Russell. The series Robots of the Company was created by Jonathan Patrick Russell, and the copyright is held by Dream Realm Enterprises, all rights reserved. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this program without the express written permission of Dream Realm Enterprises is directly prohibited. Thank you for listening. We invite you to visit us on the web at dreamrealmsite.com for more information. Please email us at darkbuildingwineyahoo.com. The comments and opinions expressed by Frag Meltdown were his comments and opinions and his alone. They do not reflect the opinions of the company. Praise the company. Thank you for your patronage. Be sure to join us here next time as Season 2 continues for a heartfelt episode we'd like to call Company for the Robots. As always, this is the creditor begging you to please stay tuned. Copyright 2011, Dream Realm Enterprises, all rights reserved. Hey, Billy, why do you look so down? Aw, oh, Dad, I got a computer, a PlayStation, and a barn full of iguanas, and I'm still bored. <sighs> Gee, Billy, when I was your age, I would read lots of stories in pulp magazines. Oh, with stories of weird adventure and fantasy, horror, satire, and lots of action. Wow! That sounds great, Dad! Yeah, I sure wish there was something like that right now. <laughs> there is Daddy-O! Who are you? I'm Dr. Mary Von Roxbrocket, host of the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour. And now there's... Yeah? Twisted Pulp Magazine! <laughs> What's that, Doctor? Why, it is a return to greatness! Available on all your digital devices. That is what it is. Look. Whoa, Dad, this looks awesome. Exciting and, dare I say it, very unwholesome. You definitely have that right, my good man. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, Dr. Mary. My pleasure, Billy. And just between you and me, I am not sure that this man is really your father. Bye. Dad? Uh, uh, just read your Twisted Pulp magazine, Billy. Twisted Pulp magazine! Available in dark alleyways behind meth labs everywhere! Or at digitalvaudeville.com! That is D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E dot com!